when you do not watch the whole video it makes you lose the vital information of what the video is all about many a times people leave comments without really watching the entire video to know where the host is coming from and to know how to leave your message so i encourage you guys please please watch the entire video most of the time the vital information goes between the video or towards the end of the video when you come to watch a video remember you are coming to pick up one or two things or to learn something from a video the key thing to watching a video or to subscribing is to get the message about what the video is talking about subscribe and let's get right into the video right now hello guys welcome back so much guys if you are interested in knowing how to look classy after the age of 40 stay here I have 15 things that you need to stop stop doing right now if you are at the age of 40 and above and you want to be classy after the age of 40 remember this video is not for everyone so guys welcome back welcome so much if you're not yet subscribed please do me a favor click that red button subscribe and turn on the notification bell turn on the notification bell for those of you for all my returning subscribers thank you so much today we're going to get some excitement on 15 things you need to stop doing right now stop doing right now is staying away from trendy outfits if you wear trends they run out of fashion trends are not in for people over the age of 45 don't get me wrong over the age of 40 it might look good for now but how are you going to repeat those trends after two three four five years when trends are over rather go for things that are more classy and more sophisticated the second thing you want to stop doing right now is wearing fishnets I see women, mature women, over matured women wearing fish net panty line, panty host and rainbow, rainbow outfits, colors, yellow, green, red, purple. You need to stop wearing those things right now. The next thing you want to stop doing right now, right now, that really puts you at the flat at the bottom of the whole thing is you need to stop over accessorizing your outfit do not over accessorize with too much chunky beads too much rings going on on your fingers you wear a bracelet you wear a wristwatch you wear four bracelets and over here you are wearing some other blinks and also you have your fingernails all decorated with rhinestones stop that my friend stop that it looks as tacky as hell you need to stop doing that it does not cut that for you stop over wearing big beads don't get me wrong I have beads I wear them but you need to know is the outfit appropriate for the beads stop doing that we sometimes we tend to follow people on social media for the wrong reasons why are you following these people is it because they have so much uh, is this because of the way they dress is it because they have so much followers when you follow people on Instagram or on social media at least get one thing that you Try to find a reason to follow someone on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. Is it because of the way she talks? Is it because of the way she dresses? 
you must follow somebody because you want to learn one or two things from somebody you are following don't get me wrong i'm not here to advise you to go and start living instagram life because instagram life 80 percent of instagram life is fake moving on stay away from wearing overly cheap outfit cheap 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 outfit that you see um the wool is pulling off everybody is wearing the same outfit because you purchased that for 10.99 20.99 you are a matured woman leave those for teenagers who are coming up you sometimes most of the time you want to dress up and you alone will be the only person that is wearing that outfit if you can't get if you can get your outfit tell out for you if you cannot check pinterest go to our stores who are as high-end stores and go to the back of the high-end stores where they have clearance sales when you go there you see some small designers or big designers or maybe even no nobody and the outfit is not overly like the the style is not printed like one thousand 1,000, it's not printed like 1,000 of the similar styles. You don't want to go there. So try those stores. Try uh, try secondhand stores. Try um, consignment stores. You will get something that is really, really inexpensive, that is not saturated that everybody have. Stop doing that. It makes you look cheap 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 and stop you need to stop wearing ill-fitted outfit some of them are so big or either they're so big oversized or they are too clingy on your skin you don't want something that is overly too tight on your skin especially when you know that your body is not meant for that out it's not meant for that that outfit stop start start shopping for outfits that are really main meant for your body type my body type is not the same as your body type so don't look at me and you admire what i'm wearing yes it's beautiful it's good but is it meant for your body type i have seen people that wear size 18 or size 20 trying to fit in into bodycon outfits body corn outfits are not meant for you that's why it's called body corn and it's not everybody that can wear body corn if you want to fit into body corn outfit at least try do something physically so that you can fit into those body corn outfits and stay away from and I'm sorry to say that black women needs to lose weight. Most black women needs to lose weight. We eat too much. We need to, once you get to the age of 40 and above, you need to figure out why you're eating. Are you eating for the taste of the food? Are you eating for your life? Are you eating for your health? Figure out why you are eating. Some people, I have seen people who eat like pigs. In public events hello public events and you're eating like you have not eaten tomorrow like you have not eaten yesterday and you're eating like you cannot afford that food especially in this part of the world if you even do especially in this part of especially in this part of the world where at least most people can afford grocery stop eating like that back home we call it nyanyoko you're a chick you want to be a classy lady there are certain things attributions that you need to stop doing right now stop it it doesn't it doesn't cut you it doesn't cost you much it doesn't cost you much to be elegant to be sophisticated and when i'm talking about elegancy elegancy does not have anything to do with the price of your shoes of your bags of 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 your outfits elegancy has to come from 
within the way you behave when you go out there the way you talk to people the way you talk about people your appearance goes a very long way there is a reason why they have spanks there is a reason why they have body shaper there is a reason why they have body magic and all those body controlling garments there are so many reasons why they have them at least try a little bit try a little bit to snatch yourself it's not only for excessively big people i have a whole bunch of spans and body contour and body this and that i have done so many videos on that you want to leave your house before you leave your house look at the mirror two or three times before you look at yours before you leave your house the next thing you want to do is stop buying ugly shoes ugly shoes makes you look very classless ugly when i tell you ugly shoes there are shoes that are ugly again shoes does not have to be very expensive for that to look good on your feet Find something for crying out loud. It does not have to be like seven inch shoes or five inch shoes, at least three inch shoes. Again, the next thing you want to start doing right now, right now, this moment is stop showing excessive skin. Too much skin. You can tell, right? I am showing some skin here, but it's not really that much. I am showing some skin in moderation. I am so sick and tired of going out at night, maybe in a party, especially Nigerian party, and you see women, you see women showing like excessively too much skin from here, like, like their chest is about to jump into their mouth and they're wearing body cones and they're wearing ugly shoes don't do that please the next one i forget is stop wearing ugly hair stop wearing ugly hair i'm not you don't have to all buy human hair i don't have a lot of human hair i have synthetic but i make sure that i keep it clean i brush it i spray it i wash it if it's washable stop wearing ugly hair wearing one thousand dollar hair does not make you a sophisticated woman you can be wearing that one thousand dollar hair but everything how you pair everything up from your fingernails to your toes to under your armpit to the bag you're carrying defeats the purpose so everything has to go from head to toe invest time invest a lot of time in your physical appearance invest a lot of time in your personal hygiene personal hygiene is the key going to dentist flossing your teeth wearing nice deodorant uh, keeping your fingernails clean and short and your toenails keeping them clean invest time in yourself don't be walking around on the street with your gym clothes and running shoes because you have a child, because you have a children at home that you have to go take care of and then you get out there looking like hot mess. If you have children and maybe you're a single mother, once those kids reach the age of six, start teaching them about mommy time. Yes, spend some time when the kid come to you and say, mommy, this, mommy, that, tell the kid, you know what, at least take care of them first, sit them quiet, let them know that mommy needs time for herself. Mommy needs to put her makeup together, mommy needs to brush her hair, mommy needs to put her shoes together, mommy needs to clean out her closet and stuff like that. If you start teaching them at the age of six, they will remember what is called mommy time mommy needs time to take care of herself the next thing you need to start doing right now right now that really throws you under the boss is stop smoking you really need to stop smoking if you smoke 
stop smoking it doesn't matter the amount you pay to purchase a perfume you still smell like a skunk when you walk past people stop smoking it's not a ladylike it's not classy at all pay attention to your skin very important you don't need to go and use a deodorant uh, moisturizer that is being sold for two hundred dollars simple vaseline can do the job for you spend time taking care of yourself you are a woman spend time you don't have to do that every day take out one day in a week to spend time taking looking after yourself very crucial and one thing you don't know is for those of you who are single are looking into dating someone the way you present yourself the way you carry yourself is the way that man out there is going to treat you stop being cheap stop being cheap invest in yourself again i am not talking about buying millions spending millions and millions of dollars to look good keep it simple simple is better nip it down don't go for excessive style i'm sorry about this i have to talk about <laughs> sorry about <laughs> yes so don't go for excessive styles with frumps all over here a uh, big bow here hair like crazy big sunglasses no keep it short keep it simple keep it classy those things comes this all these things that i'm telling you right now makes up a big package of a classy woman so if you want to be classy go uh, so if you want to be classy rewind the video and write down all the 15 things that i just told you right now and start doing it right now so guys thank you for your time and thank you for subscribing i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys from the bottom of my heart bye bye for now